This is Wendy Susi, Madison Social Media Examiner with Tracy Sachin, who is on the USA Women's Curling Team heading to the Olympics in uh, just a few days here. Uh, opening ceremonies are February 12th. Tracy, you, your hometown is Lodi, Wisconsin. How did you get started here in Lodi with curling? Actually, um, I grew up with a sport. My parents actually curled in a league with a bunch of other people their age. And every Sunday, we would go to the curling club to watch our parents curl. And then when they get done curling, they would let us go on the ice, and we would try to throw stones. So my parents curled a ton. They traveled. They did, did lots of different tournaments. Then when I became um, a high schooler, you could do it as a sport. And because my parents wanted me to do it as a sport, I decided I did not want to do it as a sport. So I went out for cheerleading and became the alternate on the team, which I did not like. So The I alternate up, on the curling team? The alternate on the cheerleading. Ah. <laughs> so then I decided to go out for curling. I ended up making varsity my first year playing on the varsity team. Um, was successful. I mean, I knew the sport, so... It helped having my parents, I guess, living living their curling life. So it was it was really successful. Then I ended up playing in the first ever uh, junior national championships, which was held in Madison. And there were 10 teams. Alaska was like one of them that was there, but there's 10 different states here. And we played, we won the first ever national championships. So what I was, did. Yes, and it was actually my high school team. So I was a senior in high school. And we were told that we possibly might be sent to the European Championships and they would accept um, the USA there. Well, it ended up falling through. So, so the, next, the next year, we had more. We wanted to be the national championship team because they were going to have the first ever world championships. In curling. So, yes, in curling. So we actually went and won nationals and went to the world championships for juniors, and it was in Chamonix, France, and that was very fun. We How were, old were you? I would have been 19. 19 years old. Yeah, at the time. Very exciting. And then I played a couple more years in juniors, but um, very exciting. And because it was the first ever world championships you know, that I played in in uh, 88 and 87, would have been the first ever national championships, juniors. So it was very exciting, and that kind of got my competitive rolling and really liking it. I took a few years off in between having kids and um, working in school and stuff, but mm -hmm. I guess I've always come back to it. I cannot believe that I'm still actually competing competitively, but it's exciting. Good. And how is the community, Lodi, the town of Lodi? Is there still curling here? Does the high school still have a team? Tell us a little bit about that. They actually do not have a high school team anymore. I want to say in the early 90s is when they actually discontinued it as a sport and it had something to do with at the time I feel like because it wasn't a WIA sport and the funding mm -hmm. um, with insurance and stuff so I feel like that's when they dropped it we have tried to do junior programs it's been kind of hard getting it going um, but the we still do have a curling club we still have leagues they have um, leagues on Monday nights they have like a dinner league where you play and then you everybody comes and has a dinner Mm -hmm. take turns making dinner. Mm -hmm. um, they have Tuesday and Thursday night men's league, and they have a mixed league on Fridays, or kind of an open league. So it could be, you know, four men, three women, one guy, it doesn't matter, playing. And it's very successful. There's a lot of people out there curling. Okay. So. Um, and I think I know a fair number of older people, senior generation, that continues to curl. Yes. Actually, there's many different senior leagues in our area um, because we have so many different curling clubs in the area. Partyville, Poinette, Portage, Arlington, Madison. Um, they actually travel around during the weekdays and have leagues and they play in their senior leagues and they also have like their luncheons together. So it's really nice. Plus there's been some devices made so that the older people can curl that cannot get down in the hack mm -hmm. and they're able to deliver it with a device while standing. So oh. that's really helped the sport out, and it just helps out that people get to still compete, and mm -hmm. they still get to be social in the sport, so it's really nice. Wonderful. Well, I'll have to go to some of the bond spiels yes, to bond see spiels. some of that competition. Yes. And I know you've worked with me a few times. We've gone down really early to the curling club and thrown a few stones um, I don't think I'm that good at it. I think it would take throwing a few more to even pass the beginner line. Well, actually, we are going to do a workout next week on Wednesday. Before I leave, we will be doing a workout 
Oh, um, at the YMCA is going to do a workout at the, at the curling club. So you have to come try it and see if Excellent. you've improved at all. Well, thank you. Uh, there's a good tip, and thank you very much, Tracy Sachin. Good luck at the Olympics um, as you travel there, the opening ceremonies. Uh, I'm sure you'll keep us posted every day on what's going on between Facebook, Twitter, the website, and your blog. Yes. Um, I'll be reporting it on Madison Social Media Examiner. Thank you thank for this opportunity for the interview. You. You're welcome. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Tracy, why don't you start by telling us about the team um, how long you've been curling, you know, put everything in perspective for us. Well, I've actually been curling for over 25 years. So quite a... Quite and you're young, I, so you started when you were a little bit... Yeah, school. I grew up with the sport. So, and actually everybody on our team pretty much has their parents curled. So, and we actually, our team has actually been together for over five years. Okay. And, and that's a little hard because you live in Lodi. Where are your other team members from? Debbie is actually from Rio, Wisconsin, so not okay. very far. And Nicole is from Madison, Wisconsin. So the three of us practice together. Okay. And Nicole's last name is? Jornstead. Okay. And then um, our coach is actually from Beaver Dam, so he meets up with us. The other two are from Bemidji, Minnesota. And that would be? Um, That's Natalie Nicholson. And okay. Allison Pottinger is from Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Okay. Very good. Yes. Um, 